Hi. In this tutorial, video tutorial number three, I'm going to show you how to do your homework for Art 1383. I know this is a thrilling topic, but I did realize that if I don't um, actually show you how to find homework in Max, um, you won't be able to find it. So let me just uh, quick uh, click over to the syllabus here. And let's say that you saw this. Um, for homework, you have additional tutorials here. Oh no, what am I going to do? Additional tutorials. Max Tutorial 3, Numbers and Lists. Where will I find it? Well, go back to Max, and the tutorials are located up in the Help file here. Click on that, go down here, Max Tutorials, and you'll get the documentation window popping up here. And you can either go over to this side and click on one, or I like to just do this one because it keeps them in a nice list. Max Tutorials, there they are, Basics. Here's tutorial number three. And new <clears throat> tutorial number three pops up over here. You'll also notice that within this, it says open the tutorial patcher. And this is a great little um, thing because it brings up a patcher so that you can follow along. You'll see 03 numbers and lists that matches this tutorial so you'll know just what you're doing. I myself like to resize this window as small as I can so that I can read the patcher and do the homework at the same time. Yes, I do homework too. So now that I have them fitting together and I can expand this sidebar. I'm going to open the Max window over here, and then I'm going to look at my homework. Uh, num a lot of what goes into programming in Max involves being able to blah, 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 blah. Numeric messages, blah, 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 blah. Take a look at the number box, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at that. If I click here, it prints a zero over here. If I print a 25, etc., etc. Okay, I'm not assigning this right now. I just want you to get the idea. So you can go all the way through this, change the numbers, watch the max window. In all cases, and this is important, in all cases, when you're doing these tutorials, it's really best if you do a max patcher at the same time. You can get your YouTube video open in one uh, window and work on your Max Patcher in another. I do it all the time. Okay, so what about other, and just to refresh your memory, that's up here under Help, and here are the Max Tutorials. You can go get them that way. In other cases, I might put a video tutorial in there from let's say Cycling74 who makes the patcher and it'll say video tutorial rather than a max tutorial which is just a text tutorial or a YouTube tutor tutorial and if it's a video tutorial you can just you know do this and there it goes launching Cycling74 right put this in one corner For this tutorial we'll be using an example and then you can produces a number of simple sounds a pitch tone and two varieties of noise you'll notice that our patch contains a sub patcher that contains both the selection logic and the sound oh, generator I know there's a way to patch. do this we're going to create a preset system in this patch without naming user interface objects or using the auto patter object. Instead, we'll use a new max object called patter to name our parameters and expose them to the patter system. So there it is. I found but my first, max patcher and I've got it next to my patter object to our patch next to my quiet you next to this. So I can sit here and go new and I can type patter object and then I can name it just like they're naming it. Oh, noise. Great. And then I can put it over here just like they're doing. Oh, what's that? A slider? Etc. Etc. And and put the objects in there. So 
right? So this is just an example, but I like to make them at the same time. You can always go over here and hit pause and then go back here and hit until you, hey, quiet. And then we can do these objects. the same way they are. It's just an example. Oops. I wanted to make it look the same. There we go. So there's what they're doing, and I'm doing the same. And then when I catch up with them, I can just hit play. So that's the way to do it. In the meantime, I'm going to stop this. And that's it. So that's what I just wanted to tell you how to do your homework. And remember, always patch along. And with that said, that is how to do your homework. Thanks a lot. And remember to do your homework.